Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today's Easter Friday, Good Friday, Good Friday. And it's my day off from work, which I think my work, they're robbing me because usually on Fridays I work 8.30 to 1. And on Monday, I'll work 8.30 to 5. So Monday is what I should have got off and today should have been, but it is what it is. Now, I just picked up these ice cream from a company called Blissful Bites. And she was advertising in one of the groups that I'm in on Facebook. Uh, what's it called again? Bun and cheese ice cream. Now, typically in Caribbean households, whenever it's Easter, we eat bun and cheese as tradition or whatever. I'm not really a fan of bun like that because people... Well, it depends on who, because some people make it with so much rum, not rum, those cherries and all this stuff in there. I like mine's plain, which is hard to get. So I'm like, bun and cheese ice cream. I'm like, what? I'm like, let me, let me try it. So I ordered some from her and I bought, there's two of these for $12. Those are pretty cheap, pretty cheap. So I got two of these. For twelve dollars, I think that was just a promo price. To me, that's cheap. Okay, so let's see. I know I have a habit of smelling my food. You can't really smell ice cream, really. And I know I I, I don't have a spoon, but I always have like a fork in my car, so. You know what? This taste is really good. I wasn't... I didn't know what to expect. I'm tasting more cheese, like a cheese flavor though, than, than the bun. And I'm tasting the spice. If anybody knows what like the Caribbean cheese tastes like, this is what it this tastes like the ice cream tastes like some people are just so talented when it comes to certain things like i wish i had an extra talent i'm not a baker i mean i can bake for my own household but to bake and sell i'm not a big cook i can't sew like i can't do hair i can't do makeup that's why I'm, you know, wearing my... I cut off my hair the other day. I'm going to show you all. I know it looks raggedy right now, but I cut my hair off the other day. I was having like a mental breakdown because I'm tired. And, like I have no edges because over the years, because of braids and whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to cut it off. This is more easier to deal with. It's just that this morning I didn't wash it and style it up, so... But anyways, the other day I showed some, shared some videos of talking about cooking of Chef Karima's restaurant being vandalized twice in two days downtown Toronto. And decided to open this new one in downtown Toronto in December, you know, last year in the middle of a pandemic. That's hard enough. You know, to come up with like a business plan and finding a location, paying the rent and all that. And in January, someone went and stole her, the tablet, the computer, the system or whatever they used. Someone came in and stole that. And then we're in March. Well, we're in April right now, but March. It was just last weekend. You know, she came into work and the bottom of her restaurant window was broken, the door. And the very next day, she wasn't even open. A customer called her and be like, yo, what's going on with your restaurant? Someone went with a rock and I wish she shared the video. She didn't put up the video about that, or at least I didn't see it. Someone going by and just throwing rocks into the restaurant for no reason. Like... It's ridiculous because we're in a pandemic. Pan, ugh, 
pandemic, this Corona thing or whatever, just came out of nowhere and just blind everybody, you know? And this woman is trying her best to keep an income coming in legally, you know, and people are just going around and destroying her property. Now, this happened on a Sunday. The second incident happened on the Sunday. The Monday, she was closed, you know, for cleanup and whatever. And then the Tuesday, the community just came together and went down there to support her. You know, the biker, there's a biker crew that went down there and it was awesome. doing a giveaway because again i live in brampton she's downtown toronto i'm not going down there until when the weather is nicer where i don't have to wear like a hoodie and stuff like that she has this jerk chicken lasagna that everyone is raving about and i love jerk, jerk chicken so i want to try that for sure but i'll do it in the summertime when the weather is nice so I'm giving away one free dinner or lunch combo to, I'm picking a random person. The restaurant will receive the money and then you guys can just go down there and be like, you know, I'll give you a special code. I'll, you just go down there and you can claim it that way. That'll be my support to the restaurant until I can get there in the summertime. But until then, because I love to support small businesses, someone called and interrupted my recording because I'm recording on my phone right now. But as I was saying, I love to support small businesses, especially if I see someone that I know pop up with something or I don't even have to know them. If I see them pop up with something and they're trying, I'll support. I have no problem doing that. Sometimes I might look at the price and be like, oh, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> but if I really want it, I'll support it. or I'll find something else in their catalog that might fit my budget that I'll like or I might just buy it and do a giveaway you know I'm still supporting right right now in Ontario we're on lockdown again for another 28 days now initially I didn't have a problem with it because I am the type where I stay home I don't really go out that much but my options now are limited. My option has been taken away. <sighs> when are we going to go back to normal? I don't even know what normal is anymore. I really don't. I really don't. And the COVID vaccine is out. Are you going to get the vaccine, guys? I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't even get the flu shot. I don't think I'm going to get it. But I, I'm scary... I'm scary. I'm scared because I don't know, like, and even if you get the vaccine, it's not a guarantee that you won't get it. I guess it's just like the flu shot. You can't, it limits your ability to get it, but you can still get it sort of thing. But I don't think I'm getting the shot. I'm not getting the shot. I know I've heard some people have said that airlines are might limit your ability to travel with them if you don't have it. I guess that's a risk I'm willing to take. Where am I going to go? I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money to travel. I mean, I might want to go to Vinci's at some point. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this ice cream is really, 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 really good. It's very thick and creamy. And I love that. 
I don't know if she has oh god sorry about that I don't know if she has a Instagram page I found her on Facebook but if I find if she does I'm gonna ask her I will post it in the description box and you guys can head over there maybe lend her some support because I think she sells more than ice cream this ice cream is really really good But I'm at the laundromat. I'm going to go in, throw my clothes in the dryer. And I'm probably going to finish this before I get home. I may get started in a second one too. <laughs> but enter the contest. It closes tomorrow. I'll announce the winner tomorrow on my Instagram. All the details are in the description box. So just share any of the Chef Kareem's videos. The link will be up here in the description. Not the link. The, the i cards to the videos will be up there somewhere. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.